okay i'll be using this pattern paper for the purpose of clarity i'll be cutting front and back together so i have to cut out the piece i will use for the front and back in case you are cutting it directly on your fabric that's how you will cut it out please note that the fabric will be on fold to know the amount of fabric you put on fold you will divide the biggest part of your upper body which is your bust bust divided by four i'll add extra four inches for the front part and for the back part i will add two inches for the zipper allowance and two inches for the sewing allowance making it four inches so for the back part i will fold in the two inches for the zipper allowance i'll be adding all my necessary sewing allowance on this pattern so after cutting it out i'll just place it on my fabric and cut it out please take note of that so what i'll just do now i'll place two of them together making sure that it's, it's equal i use your pin to secure it so that it won't be moving around so the next thing now is to mark my starting point after marking my starting point i will start inputting my body measurement so to get my chest line i normally divide my bust by six and i'll add extra 1.5 inches this is the method i use and it works for me so the next thing is to mark my bust point which is 10 my under bust 14 and my waist line is 17 inches i will rule out my lines i will put the measurement i'm working on the screen so that you understand what i'm doing very well so the next thing now is to divide my shoulder by two i will mark it there and i also mark it on my chest line i will rule a straight line to connect it after connecting it i will mark my neck width for the front and back the neck width i'm working with is four inches that's for the front and back and for the neck depth i have 1.5 inches for the back and i have five inches for the front i will now make a boss this boss will help you to connect the neckline very well so i will use my pattern master to curve the neckline for the front and back okay so after that the next thing i will do now is to mark my shoulder slope for the front i use one inch and for the back i will use half inch i'll connect it to my neck width on the line where i mark my chest depth i will input quarter of my round bust to curve my armhole i will divide my chest depth by two so i place my tape on the shoulder slant for the front to determine the middle so for the front i came in by 0 0.7 for the back i came in by 0 0.5 i'll just connect it with a straight line okay so i will now use my curve to draw my armhole shape to my boss line that's what i have for my armhole so the next thing now is to mark my dart line for my dart line what i normally do is i divide my boss by eight this is the method i use and it has been working for me for all body sizes whatever it gives you you mark it there and now rule a straight line so on my armhole i will also divide it by two place my tape on the front shoulder slope and i will determine the middle okay i will now connect it straight to my chest line just make a slight curve please don't put too much curve there okay so the next thing now is to tighten my underboss i took 1.5 inches on this side on the center front side i will take half inch if you are of a bigger size you take two inches 
and 0 0.7 on my bust point line i came down by one inch this is to eliminate the pointiness this will give me a very smooth and nice curve so i will curve it up to that one inch i measured down so the next thing now is to rule it down I'm not using a boss that on this pattern, so it's very important that I tighten my under boss very well. If you don't tighten it very well, the princess that boss there will not come out well. Because I took 1.5 inches on the other side, I will now share it on my armhole. That is 0.7 on both sides. That is what I will do. So on my boss point, I will come on by 1 inch also to connect it. carefully connect it okay you also connect the other side just watch closely what i'm doing that's how you place your french cuff you just connect it the way you see me doing okay that's what i have for the marking so i will smoothen it smoothing it very well so on my armhole now i will come out by one inch so place your tape on the front armhole come out by one inch please you start from your front armhole i will reconnect it if you don't do this you find out that when you are joining it it won't be equal so it's very important that you come out by one inch so the next thing now is to input my body measurement. I will divide my bust by four. I will add four inches for all my necessary sewing allowance. I will also do the same thing on my under bust. Just measure what you have here. You replace it and add extra two inches for sewing allowance. Also do the same thing on your waistline. You just connect everything the next thing is to cut it off i'll cut the back part off please note that the back part i won't be using princess that line i'll be using normal that i will do it on my fabric when i'm sewing it i will cut the shoulder i will cut the front armhole like this so that it can guide me on how to cut my back armhole the only thing i will do on my back armhole is that i will trim off half inch on my fabric so make sure you work the sewing part so that you can learn one or two tricks uh, i will now cut the front neck i'll cut the the dart intake just follow what i'm doing here you will understand watch closely how i'm cutting it off please make sure you subscribe to my channel so that when i post the sewing part you get notified so it's very necessary you turn on your notification bell all right to all my returning subscribers thanks for all your support i really appreciate this method is very easy and it has been working for me since i've been using it this is the end of the cutting part this is what i have for the front and back make sure you subscribe to my channel for the sewing part i will show you how you will join it accurately so that the the bust will come out well thanks for watching